Hey everyone, so today we're back at it again with another bath bomb. Granted, today it's much later in the day. It is actually dark outside. It is actually 10 16 p.m. currently when I am filming this. So this video is either going up really, really late tonight or early tomorrow morning, mostly just because I have not been able to catch my breath at all this week. I have literally, I got home earlier, had to get changed, go out, buy a birthday present, come home, figure out what I was going to wear, come actually eat dinner, eat some food, and now I'm sitting down and doing this video. So thank you guys for been that for those of you who have actually been watching this series so far. I've been getting a really great response, which I'm really happy about because so far it's been really fun to actually kind of do a deep dive on these bath bombs and take them apart and see what they're made out of and just see how they're made and experience this with you guys so I'm hope I'm hoping that you're all really enjoying this but as per usual I this morning picked another bomb out of the big lush bag that I have you know kept to the side in my room and today joining us will be dun 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 Mr. Turtle. Now, this is the turtle bath bomb. It's actually called a turtle jelly bath bomb. Now, the one thing I didn't realize until I pulled it up on their website, there are two versions to this guy. I do believe that this is just the regular bath bomb. There's another one called the turtle immersion, and I think that's an, a bigger size version to this. I might be completely wrong. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the two, but I do think that this is the regular guy. So, I don't know what the heck a jelly bath bomb is and what that means, but I'm really excited because I've never tried any of their jelly bath bombs, so I'm curious to see what that means. This guy is $7.95, so again, mid-range price range that we've experienced so far in the collection or and or just in their overall options. Um, this guy, I don't believe, is a part of the Easter or Spring collection. I honestly just picked him out because the color was really beautiful and the smell. He's got this really nice earthy tone that I fell in love with and I definitely like more of like the pine smells, the tree smells, and the wood smells. Those are some of my favorite smells and really help me to relax. So that's obviously a winning scent for me while I'm trying to relax in the bathtub. So Mr. Turtle, this is him. Um, I've pulled up as per usual their his profile on the Lush website and I'm going to read you their little blurb for it and as always I will leave all the links in the description box down below along with the ingredients list so you guys can check that out for yourself. Uh, but let's see what they have to say about the turtle. Um, with its uplifting scent, turtle jelly bomb will make you want to hide out in your tub and soak up all its skin softening goodness. Every year, many sea turtles die from eating plastic debris in our oceans that will that they mistake for food, which is just super unfortunate, but a sad reality. Uh, that's me saying that, not them. Um, this jelly bomb was created to encourage all of us to reduce our footprint everywhere we tread. So grab a turtle and enjoy a so enjoy a soft enjoy a softening cypress sandalwood pine soak. Geofizz, anyone? I think that's supposed to be a punny joke and I just ruined it. <laughs> complete our, complete with arg, arg strand with that float in the water to remind us about the threat to turtles but won't harm our waterways. So that's the one thing I really do appreciate with Lush is that I may not necessarily agree with all the things that they stand for as far as animal rights, but I definitely appreciate the fact that they are trying to be as, as ethically friendly with their products and recycling and trying to keep the planet clean, especially the waterways. Um, so this guy's main fresh ingredient is cypress oil. That is definitely that earthy, smelly pine tones that I'm getting um, and I'm really excited to see what this guy is going to explode in the water like and just what it's gonna smell like I am curious to see if he's going to change colors now shh, that is a spoiler alert that is a trade secret of some of the lush products is that they actually aren't the same color as they are on the outside on the inside so I'm curious to see if this guy has some sort of special color on the inside especially because he's a jelly bomb I'm really curious to see what the texture is gonna be like so why don't we hop towards the bathroom 
and uh, pop this guy in the water and see what happens. So we're back at it again with Mr. Turtle. Here he is, and here I am. I figured I decided I'd be a little bit more colorful and a little bit more festive to match the color, the colorfulness that is Mr. Turtle. We haven't really had a really exciting colorful bath bomb since the chick. The chick was probably the most colorful, so I'm really curious to see what the color is gonna look like on this guy and see what he's going to let out, especially the jelly factor. I'm really, really curious to see what that means and the whole concept of a jelly bath bomb. I'm really curious to see if this guy is housing some sort of jelly or something, but we shall see once I pop him into the water. Alrighty. So I do have to uh, give an update. I think it's a fair update for any of you who watched uh, the golden egg uh, review, which was yesterday's video. Honestly, I do have to give another fair warning. I did leave my little blurb in the description box of the golden egg review that the glitter definitely was all over me after I got in the tub, but oh, I just knocked over a towel as per usual, knocking things over. Um, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna pretend to lie. I just spent the like ten, last 10 to 15 minutes trying to like completely clean my tub out of all the gold glitter and it is so difficult to get rid of. I still have some on my face. I don't even know if, it, if you guys can see it, but I still have gold glitter all over my face. Plus, on top of that, as I predicted, Max got into the tub probably multiple times throughout today and is just nose to tail covered in glitter. I'm not worried about it harming him. He's not bothered by it at all. He, I don't even think he realized that it's on him. But if you're looking to get the golden egg, be super careful about the maintenance and the cleanup after the fact, because that glitter is definitely going to be everywhere, which I didn't expect it to be. But we shall move on and see what Mr. Turtle is gonna do for us. So here's the turtle. I'm gonna let him in like I'd be letting a turtle back into the water in real life. Whee! Oh, that's so exciting. It sounds so cool. So definitely a different reaction than the golden egg. This one's definitely a lot more exciting. And now that color, oh my God, that smell. That color is crazy. Look how bright and green that is. That is so much fun. That sound is so satisfying as well. I kind of missed it with the golden egg. We weren't getting as much of that fizzing sound. I'm just gonna follow him around the tub a little bit as he fizzes out. But that is easily the color is not coming up or being picked up on the screen or on my camera as much as it is in real life. But that is a beautiful green color. So if any of you are big fans of green, this is gonna be your guy. This guy's basically just swimming around my tub. We started there, he's gone and done a loop, and now he's over here. Oh, he's white on the inside. Oh, that's interesting. I do have to say immediately the smell on this is definitely much stronger than the golden egg. It's definitely a smell that I much prefer over the chick, so I do have to say this is definitely a much more tol tolerable scent. Um, versus the chick, so I'm not bothered by it, but the smell factor is definitely just as strong as the chick. So I guess that's what maybe you'd be sacrificing when it comes to a regular bath bomb versus uh, something like a bath melt, where the strong is the smell is going to be as strong, but the texture of what your skin's going to feel like definitely will be. But with the regular bath bomb, your skin, I guess it more or less just depends on how long you stay in the tub. You'll definitely get that factor of smell but you won't get as much maybe crazy softness as you will with a bath melt which totally makes logistically it makes a lot of sense so i'm gonna switch the camera angle around and i'm gonna get in and see what happens and see how we're now in the tub as per usual as this part of the video would expect we are now in the tub again the bath bomb is basically almost fizzled out but i do have to show you guys like this ring around here is crazy crazy it's super foamy but the color again this green color is so beautiful it's such a nice like deep green color there is a little bit of residuals kind of floating around in the water so i guess that's another thing i noticed i don't know if any of you noticed in yesterday's vi video with the golden egg there was kind of like this weird sheen slash kind of it seemed almost like an oily 
sheen to the top of the water and that was obviously from probably the olive oil that was pressed in to um, the golden egg because there is uh, olive oil was one of the prominent along with cocoa butter is one of the prominent ingredients to the golden egg um, but it definitely seems like the turtle mr. turtle has some sort of like bits of floating stuff which is what they said there would be on the website so I guess this is what they were talking about I do have to say now like rubbing my toes on the tub as you could probably see here it is super duper slippery so for any of you parents out there that maybe are throwing this guy in with your kids I would suggest maybe just keeping an extra eye out on them because this is definitely making me slip and slide as far as my toes go they're sliding off the edge and I'm barely getting any grip on the edge of my tub um, but overall that like not sand that sandalwood is definitely strong it's definitely again like i initially suggested it's got that earthy tone going on to it let's flip down over to this side um it definitely has that like earthy tone and smell to it it definitely smells like a nice like some sort of a tree but not like a standard maple obviously it smells almost like a pine tree like it's got that kind of a scent to it um for any of you who have smelled like a fresh christmas tree that's basically what i can compare it to not as piney but definitely has that kind of fresh plant fresh tree smell to it i am in love with the color of this uh bath bomb i could probably do without uh this going on in the water and all over me because it is making it incredibly slippery for my toes to just bear some sort of grip so i don't slide all the way in um but overall i do love the color of this bath bomb it, again we haven't had a color like this since the chick and that was kind of an off-putting color so i love this color I'm in love with the scent of this bath bomb and I definitely would, I could see like, let's do our rating, our usual rating from one out of 10. I would probably put this guy, I honestly, I think after seeing last night's mess of the golden egg, I think I'm going to bump that down to about a seven. I don't think I would rate it as high as an eight anymore just because I would seriously have to consider the cleanup after it and the mess that it makes is just tragic. It's just such a pain in the in the butt to clean up after um so i think with the turtle the smell the color and the overall like just feel of it i would definitely place this particular bath bomb at an eight versus something like the golden egg i would make a seven and then i think i made the chick a four which i think would be pretty standard i don't know if i would purchase it again for myself just because the scents didn't work for me but i definitely could see myself buying and recommending it to other people that i know would enjoy it but overall this is this guy is de definitely taken first place and has kicked uh the golden egg out of the running now i do see some gold flakes and gold glitter still floating around which again i think is from the golden egg i don't think it has anything to do with the turtle uh but the turtle definitely had a really exciting fizz to it it had a really exciting explosion coming into the water and i think overall for the general audience this would make a great bath bomb for kids i think you're gonna get the exciting colors they're gonna love seeing the turtle maybe putting a turtle in the water i think they'll get that like really exciting feeling from it uh, but overall i'm definitely a huge fan of this bath bomb so i hope you guys are honestly enjoying this uh process and this experience and this bath bomb cleanse so far um i'm definitely enjoying honestly looking forward to coming home and taking a bath every single day or almost every single day uh just because it's just been super relaxing and it has given me time to just kind of sit down and spend some me time and not think um i've really needed needed it this week and we've still have what we're three bath bombs in i bought eight so we are still five bath bombs out so we're only three bath bombs in i do have to give a fair warning i think tomorrow i'm not going to be able to post a video because i have a friend's birthday to go to so there won't necessarily be a video there's a very good chance that there won't be a video tomorrow but that means that maybe i'll do a double whammy maybe i'll do a double whammy on saturday maybe i'll do two bath bombs on saturday we'll see i don't know we'll see what happens i think i'll still pull a bath bomb tomorrow um 
uh, just so you guys have something to look forward to and something to get excited about. But I think we're gonna hold off until Saturday morning, maybe, maybe Saturday afternoon when I can take another relaxing bath. But I definitely am not as exhausted as I was yesterday. Yesterday I felt like a zombie. I felt like my brain wasn't working. Today I definitely feel a lot more rested and I feel like I've been very productive this evening or at least I've tried to be. Uh, but I have to actually take a shower tonight. Um, so it's like pre-prep for tomorrow. Um, start doing, uh, get my hair done a little bit or do my hair a little bit. And uh, yeah, the pre-prep for the partying tomorrow. Um, so I definitely have to actually shower tonight. So this is gone come at a good time to test this guy out. But I'm really excited to just soak up all the smells because these are some of my favorite smells and I'm definitely going to let my hair soak in it a little bit because I am just <sighs> loving the smell of this cypress oil and the sandalwood. I am feeling very, very zen right now, to say the least. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I really appreciate you guys following along and keeping up with the series, and I'm appreciating the love and the feedback you guys are giving me. I have, of course, I'm posting all the updates and photos and everything on Instagram. So if you guys any want, want any more updates or details or anything, all of that will be on Insta. Of course, if you guys want to know when the videos are posted, let your Turn on your notifications, all the information as always in the description box down below and I will see you guys Saturday. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye and have a good night. <laughs>